Okay, now we have one standard reserve for parabola y square is equal to 4ax. We have graph of this parabola. We have points P and Q on the parabola. Parameter of point P is T1, that of Q is T2. Coordinates of point P are 81 square comma 281 and those of Q are 82 square comma 282. Now we draw normals to parabola at points P and Q which intersect at point R. Now we want to find coordinates of point R. We have standard coordinates of point of intersection of normals at points P and Q whose parameters are T1 and T2. For that we solve the equations of uh, normals at points P and Q. Let us first write equations of normals at point P. Equation of normal is y is equal to minus t1 x plus 2a t1 plus a t1 cube. Okay. And at point Q, equation of normal is y is equal to minus uh, t2 x plus 2a t2 plus a t2 cube. Now we solve these two equations, we subtract this equation from this equation we get um, 0 is equal to t2 minus t1 x plus 2a multiply by t1 minus t2 plus a multiply by t1 cube minus t2 cube. This is inside bracket. Now factor t1 minus t2 gets cancelled out because uh, t1 is not equal to t2. We have two different points p and q, so uh, t1, t2 equal nahi honge. So cancelling out factor t1 minus t2, we get uh, x is equal to 2a plus a inside bracket t1 square plus t2 square plus t1, t2. Okay. So this is FCSA of point R. Now if we put this value of x in any one of these two equations, we get y is equal to minus a t1 t2 multiplied by inside bracket t1 plus t2. This is ordinate of point R. Now it is advisable to remember these coordinates. Agar aap in coordinates ko yaad rakhe to achha rahega. Bahut saare equations hote hain jisme ye coordinates use hote hain. We have many equations based on these coordinates. Let's try some questions. Okay, let's try this question. If line x minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 intersect parabola y square is equal to 4x at points p and q, then find the point of intersection of normals at points p and q. We have here graph of parabola y square is equal to 4x. Okay, We have line x minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. This line meets parabola at points p and q. Okay. Now we draw normals to parabola at points P and Q. These normals intersect at point R. We have to find the coordinates of point R. Okay, now one simple approach is that we solve the line and parabola. We find the coordinates of points of intersection, points P and Q. If we line and parabola, we will get points P and Q ke coordinates. Milenge. After getting coordinates, we can find equations of normals. We can use uh, standard equation of normal in the form of parameter t or we can use calculus method, differentiation method. Okay. Then we solve those two equations of normals. Okay. This is a simple approach but not from a calculations point of view. Approach is simple, lag hai, but calculations are very much. Like if we solve the equations from the straight line, we get x is equal to 2y plus 1. We put the value of x in the equation of parabola. We get y square is equal to 8y plus 4. This is quadratic in y. y square minus 8y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, roots of this equation are 8 plus minus square root of 64 plus uh, 16, 18. Okay. So we have 8 plus minus root 80 upon 2. We are getting irrational values of y. Okay. Correspondingly, we will get um, irrational values of x. Okay, na? So here coordinates are not good. Coordinates are irrational. Aare. 
So, if we use this method of uh, solving line and parabola, then finding equations of normals, then solving the uh, equations of normals, we will have huge calculations. Calculations bohot jada ho jayenge. Errors aane ke chances bante hain yaha pe. Okay? So, we use uh, another method. Suppose parameter of point P is uh, T1 and that of Q is T2. So, equation of normal at point P to the parabola will be y is equal to minus T1 x plus 2 T1 plus T1 cube. Here value of A is 1. We have y square is equal to 4 x. So, A ka value kya ho jayega? 1 ho jayega. Similarly, equation of normal at point Q will be y is equal to minus T2 x plus 2 T2 plus T2 cube. Point of intersection of normals will be point R ke coordinates kya ho jayenge? 2 A, A is 1. So, we write here 2 plus A, A is 1. Okay, inside bracket T1 square plus T2 square plus T1 T2. Okay, na? Comma, minus A, A is 1. So, we have 1 multiply by T1 T2 inside bracket T1 plus T2. Okay. Now, what we do? We solve the line and parabola. For that, we put the coordinates of a variable point on the parabola in the equation of line. Coordinates of variable point on the parabola will be t square comma 2t. The t is parameter of that point. Here, a value of a is 1. Now, we put this coordinates in this equation. We have t square minus 4t minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? Now, line intersect parabola at points P and Q, whose parameters are t1 and t2. So, for this quadratic equation, roots will be t1 and t2. This equation ke jo roots hain, wo kya ho jayenge? t1 and t2. Ho jayenge. Okay, na? Now, we can get sum of roots t1 plus t2 is equal to 4 and product of roots t1 t2 is equal to minus 1. Now, we use this values here. For that, we write t1 square plus t2 square as uh, t1 plus t2 whole square minus uh, 2 t1 t2. So, this expression becomes uh, t1 plus t2 whole square minus t1 t2. Okay. So, by putting these values, we get coordinates of point R as 2 plus t1 plus t2 whole square means 16 minus t1 t2. So, we have here plus 1 comma here we have minus 1 multiply by minus 1 multiply by 4. So, coordinates of point R will be 19 comma 4. Okay, right? So, dekho, yaha pe humne line in parabola ko solve kare bagar question solve kar liya. Here, from this we can say that chord AD passes through fixed point on x-axis.